Oh, welcome to another uh, ADAS calibration video. My name is Brian and my partner here, Miguel, and we'll be calibrating a 2022 Porsche Panamera Platinum Edition. We'll start with the uh, front camera and we'll be using our iSmartLink 801 display tablet along with the X431 ADAS Pro Plus calibration frame. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start by inserting the VCI, which is conveniently located in our tablet, to the vehicle's OBD2 port. Next, we'll put the key to the ignition, or key on two. And this vehicle has automatic headlights, so we'll go ahead and turn those off. All right, our next step is to get our, cal our tablet here and click on the ADAS calibration. And here we see we're connecting our tablet to the vehicle via the VCI. And we'll go ahead and select Porsche. Now we always wanna start by performing a pre-repair system scan. This way we can baseline the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and click on the ADAS system scan. Click on start scanning. And here we'll have the system topology and you can see that it's going through all of the different ADOS systems that the car is equipped with. So this vehicle currently doesn't have any DTC so we won't see any error codes right now but we can move forward as if it uh, if it did. So here what we'll do is we'll create the pre-repair report by clicking on report and this will bring up a template where you can add the work order number, the customer's name, uh, any remarks that you might have for this vehicle. It even has a built-in camera function, so we can click on the camera, and we can, if, for example, if we were replacing a windshield, we want to take a picture of the windshield, we can do that. And we can add that to the report. So we'll click OK. This gives us our pre-repair report. We can save it or print it. And then we're ready to go ahead and start the actual calibration steps. So I will click on ADAS calibration function. And we're gonna be doing the front camera calibration. And for our calibration equipment, we're gonna be choosing the ADAS Pro Plus. So the very first step is we wanna reset our frame to the default values. So I'll be doing that next. In this step, we're gonna be resetting the device. My partner Miguel here is gonna go ahead and adjust the four and a half setting. Next, we'll move to the left and right adjustment so that the frame can be centered. And the last step is gonna be the yaw adjustment, which is the well, the yaw positioning. <laughs> All right, so those are the, that's resetting the device to the default value. The next step is to install the wheel clamps on the vehicle's rear wheels. So Miguel will go ahead and do that right now. There he's tightening up the clamps and he's leveling out the ranging uh, panel. And this step would be repeated on the other side as well. Next, we'll be positioning the range panel on the front wheel and we'll center it to the hub. And that's gonna be used to measure our distance. The next step is to determine the distance of the frame. So we're going to install and turn on the center laser. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the range finder laser. And for this particular vehicle, the length should be 2100 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and move the frame into position. The next step is to level out the frame. On the top of the frame, there are bubble indicators or spirit levels. So Miguel will take a look at that and make adjustments accordingly by turning the casters.
The next step is to fine tune the frame. So we'll start by turning on our side lasers. These lasers are going to be used to adjust the yaw and they are, the lasers are pointing to the rear wheel panels that we applied on earlier. The values of the lasers should be equal from left to right. Next, we'll go ahead and check the distance of the frame to be set to 2100. And last, we're going to adjust the parallel upness of the frame to make sure that we're still on center using the central point laser. The next step is to install the target. We'll go ahead and remove the central point laser. We'll flip up the laser mount. And then we'll go ahead and install the target. Now this target here is the LAM01-02. This is specific for the Porsche. I believe it's used for Audi as well. We'll go ahead and lock the frame mount here, or I should say the target mount, and we'll move on to the next step. Next, we'll adjust the height of the frame, and we can use our height laser to give us our current reading. And we need to have the height set to 1330 millimeters. So we'll use our power lift to increase the height. And for fine tune adjustments, we have a hand crank to make that final few millimeters. The final step is to take a measurement on each wheel from ground to the height of the fender. And this will be repeated on each wheel. The values from this will be in inputted into the, tab into the tablet. So with all the fine tuning adjustments that we just made, we're now ready to calibrate. So we'll go ahead and click on start. Okay, the calibration is currently being performed. Got an acknowledgement ding from the car and we show a successful calibration. So next step is to turn the ignition off for 10 seconds. Okay, we'll turn it back on. We'll hit OK, and we have a successful calibration. So we'll hit OK. Next we'll do is we'll save the report, so we'll hit OK again. So this concludes our demonstration on the Pro Plus uh, calibration, ADAS calibration. We hope you found the video helpful, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you.